All right, so this is a part two video on my Razer SX500 and how I put it together. This is the final, final placement for everything, for the controller, the battery, and a couple other things that I added to it, like the lights and some switches and stuff. So let's get right in it. So the first thing to notice here is the location of the battery and the angle that I've got it inside of the frame. Uh, this is the best, the best spot that I could, could place it. Uh, left room for the controller, and I just use zip ties for the controller. Um, there's there's a lot more wires in here than what's probably going to be in most people's setups because I've got three different lights, two switches, and of course the step down here from 60 volts to, to 12 volt. Alright, so I'll start at the front of the bike here and work my way to the back. Um, the first thing, one thing I want to make notice of here is that these wires, you want to make sure, aren't in the way of these handlebars here if you're going to set your battery up at this angle and make sure that when you turn it, you know, the... Uh, power cord there the wires aren't going to get smashed um, when I first set this bike up I had some wires running down and right somewhere right here right here they would get pinched they would just be hanging down there I didn't have them strapped up out of the way and um, as I was riding with some friends about halfway through the night the wire you know the bike just stopped working and uh, it was because the wires got pinched right there so make sure every wire that you put on this thing you're getting it out of the way and it's you know out of the way of that spot right there and anywhere else that might get pinched or snagged so you don't run into any issues like i did all right so on the front i've got the suron stock battery um, i use the mount for the controller the stock controller on the suron i use that and just kind of a, adjust it a little bit to fit the light on there and it works perfect for me um, i also have these two switches which control the headlights and the I guess whatever you want to call those lights, the ones that are just shining on the tires. Um, they're running. I can do another video on how to wire it all if you guys need help with that. It wasn't really hard, just a little time time consuming. But I've got uh, these two lights here that I got off Amazon. They're just cheap little lights that work great. I've got them wired up to, um, you know, the Suron battery instead of the battery pack that it came with. All right, working to the middle of the bike. I've got the Kelly controller there. Um, I found that was the best location for it. I wanted to get it away from the bottom of the bike, you know, in case water got splashed up on it or anything. Uh, just use zip ties for it. There's probably better methods out there. You could you could custom make some kind of bracket, and that'd be the best option. But this works for me. Um, I haven't had any problems yet. I've ridden it a few times. You know, maybe one day I'll get a 3D printer and print off something a little better than than this and clean up the wires a little bit more but uh works for me all right so here's where i put the step down 60 to to 12 volts i found that was the best spot in my situation here i don't see me ever you know any having any kind of problems with the suspension and you know this hitting the tire um, i'm not doing jumps and stuff i'm just riding on the street sidewalks and whatnot all right, so the last thing that I put on was the lights I was talking about. I got one here on the back and one on the front. Um, I got them off of Amazon, and they were they were really cheap. I think under 20 bucks for the both of them. They're not the greatest lights. The uh, colored, you know, this these modes aren't very bright, but the white lights, they're very bright, and that's usually what I use to ride around because I just want to be seen a little more because this is so small, you know. If I'm riding on the roads and stuff, I don't want to get squished by a car. But I'll turn the light off and show you some of the different things it can do. So it's just got a couple different modes here. Um, each color can blink, can stay on, and then it's got you know the different color modes. You can do solid colors, and probably most lights can do these but um i would just check the reviews of whatever light you end up buying because these went out that bright so that's that if you guys have any questions let me know i didn't think it was too hard installing everything um you know like i said the only thing i ran into was pinching the wire when i was out riding and luckily i knew how to fix it or i you know i troubleshooted it and had a buddy that had some electrical tape and uh, razor blades so we were able to 
splice that and get it back together. They're fun little bikes, you know, they, uh, they're a little, a little noisy with the chain here, but it's nothing compared to a gas bike. You know, you can ride this thing at 4 a.m. and not gonna, not gonna upset your neighbors or anybody. Uh, with the Sauron battery, I'm getting some really, really good mileage out of this thing and distance. I can ride it probably pretty close to what a stock Sauron can go, I would imagine. I think I got 25, 30 something miles last time I rode. I wasn't going too hard on it. I was riding with some one wheels and you know, they don't go too fast. So I think that extended the range some. But let me know if you have any questions or, or any uh, things you guys want to see in future videos, let me know. I almost forgot the, uh, the two screws here, actually three screws, two big ones on the underneath to get off the plastics and the one here that goes in the front. I'm gonna try to see if I can find some online that have like, you know, that are that you can tighten with a finger instead of an Allen key. That way, when I'm out and need to charge it, I can just I don't need Allen keys to take it apart and hook the battery up to it. It'd be a little quicker, a little easier. I'm also going to put some uh, new brakes that I've got. The they're actually the brakes that are on the Electro and Co's website that are recommended for the SX500 and then I think the other Razor dirt bike brands as well. But when I install those, I'll probably do a video. Shouldn't be too hard to do. I think it's all just plug, you know, plug and play. But I'll I'll probably do a review on those and give you my opinion. Because the stock brakes definitely are not the greatest. Really squeaky. But they'll get you stopped. Alright, thanks for watching.